today we're going to do some Greek lemon chicken and potatoes. A little bit different than the last thing that I did um, with roast chicken. I think I just roasted chicken and just added a bunch of stuff together. This is going to actually have some lemon juice in it. Um, first thing you need to do is preheat your oven to 425, which I have done, so you may end up hearing um, the beep here in a second. Place your chicken pieces, which are chicken thighs, in large bowl and season with salt, oregano, pepper, rosemary, and cayenne pepper. And I'm going to try to use your measurements. Um, it says use four pounds of skin on, bone in, thighs, but this is like five pounds. I couldn't get anything smaller. So we'll just try to do the best we can. I may add just like a little extra just because it's a little bit more. It was a little bit over, so why don't we just do heaping of everything? That should cover it. I'm filming. Go away. Okay, so the next thing we need to place on here is a tablespoon of raw oregano. And like I said, I'm gonna do heaping. I'm gonna use our fork to kind of move it around, try to get some little nooks and crannies and crevices. Teaspoon of it. Teaspoon of pepper. Tongs would be a really good thing right now. Okay. The next thing we need to do is our rosemary. And we're supposed to do a teaspoon of it. I am not a rosemary fan. If I had to pick a substitute, it'd probably be time. So I'm gonna just do the best I can. And the next thing would be cayenne pepper. And we just need a pinch of that. So we're gonna do two pinches. some lemon juice and there's gonna be a half a cup and I'm gonna try to do a little more now she says use fresh but you can use um, chard all right so we're gonna do a half a cup bit in here so it's really about three quarters of a cup I'm trying to get rid of this excess in this bottle okay all right and the last thing that we need to put on here is well the last two things um it's supposed to be olive oil and I do not have olive oil so I'm just going to use canola that's just what I've got I know that's not a good idea but we're making a marinade so And the last 
last thing is my six cloves of garlic. So I'm just going to put in here about three tablespoons, which is probably too much, but I want it very flavorful. All right, let's see what the recipe says. All right, the next thing I need to work on is I need to get some potatoes chopped up. So let me set the chicken aside. And let me get my cutting board. All right, so I need to get another bowl. Let's see. I, instead of instead of um, just putting just a few potatoes in. I'm going to put more than that. Um, she said that the, what she calls for in the recipe is just three potatoes. That's what it says. I can imagine you doing four pounds of meat and only three potatoes. So I'm not really sure what that's about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this recipe and I'm going to split it up into two baking dishes. And I have about give or take I'm not sure how many either eight pieces of chicken or ten something like that and um, I'm going to layer the bottom of the baking dishes with the potatoes three potatoes and she peels hers I'm not gonna peel mine okay. these are just regular old rusted potatoes you could probably use red or Yukon gold this is like really a budget meal. It's just chicken thighs and potatoes. So maybe a green salad or some green beans on the side. And then you're ready to go. So what you're supposed to do is, let me just do one more potato. What you're supposed to do is, is you're supposed to marinating right now it's um, marinating in the lemon juice the oil the spices that we just put in there the potatoes are also supposed to marinate in that and yes it can be put together a lot of people are afraid of that but it can be put together let me get a slotted spoon um, it can be marinated together it's not gonna hurt anything so, probably what I'm going to do, since I've added more potatoes, is to... And this, and this recipe doesn't say anything. The reason I keep stopping is because I'm reading to make sure that I get it correct. The, um... I'm sure that you can marinate it for a while, and it'd still be just fantastic. But it doesn't say the recipe to do that. Um, so, now we're going to do this. Let it just sit because the longer it sits the better it'll be 
and it really just smells like Italian dressing. So you could probably get a Greek dressing store bought if you really wanted to get really technical and easy. This. And, uh, Do you need to spoon the remainder of the marinade over the meat and the potatoes? So I'm going to do it over both hands. You can't see that, but I did. All right, and then the next thing that you have to do is we need to drizzle this with two thirds of a cup of chicken broth. And so let me get that ready. Okay, so I got some chicken broth and I did just a little bit more than what the recipe called for. So I have enough to go over both pans. See you back here when I get done. Okay, so this is what it looks like coming out of the oven. If I can get my camera to focus. 
Give it a few minutes. There we go. So this is what it looks like. So you have to turn the boiler on the last part of the cooking. I'm going to go ahead and take this. Um, so that uh, it'll crisp up just a little. And then you're supposed to take it out of all these, all these juices and stuff. And let them rest before you serve. just like you slaved over the over the stove and, and you didn't it was real easy to do all right see y'all next time